Paul has actually come to us with a very good question. Hydration strategies for longer races. Fluid intake amounts and what fluid exactly. Now, we look at hydration strategies, this is your whole entire nutritional strategy. The first thing is to make sure that you are hydrated before the race. So before the longer session. Like three, four days before, you need to be getting your hydration up. Plenty of carbohydrates to help you get that water into the muscles to keep you hydrated. Plenty of water in there as well. Get some electrolytes and things like that. <clears throat> when it comes to race day, carbohydrates in the morning and getting the water in there. You don't want so much that you're sloshing about or anything like that, but you want to be getting enough. Now, enough depends on the person, how much they sweat how many salts they sweat out and so on. So what we do here, and I've said it in a few videos before, is we measure how much you sweat. So go to the toilet before a session, weigh yourself at the start of that session, weigh the water that you drink during that session. If you lose a kilo during an hour's session, but you've drunk half a kilo's worth of water, your sweat rate will be 1.5 kilos okay so you know that roughly that's what you need to have in there so if you didn't have that water it would be uh, 500 grams or so on so you need to be making sure you work out how much you've had and how much you need <clears throat> essentially the goal is not to stop dehydration if you the goal is actually to stop excess dehydration you're never going to stop dehydration for a longer session. So what we do here is we make sure after each session you get your recovery in. Get your carbs in throughout the day. Get your water in throughout the day. If you start feeling like you're needing water, then usually that's a little bit too late. So you need to be getting water in at regular intervals. I suggest to people to get water in. Don't just slug it down because you can look at GI distress, but get water in with carbs in it. Um, a good like glucose solution if you're going over 60 um, you go in a longer session 60 grams of glucose 30 grams of fructose that sort of ratio and just sip it throughout the hours and keep it topped up so I would say 90 grams of carbohydrates per hour but get a good sort of five six seven hundred mils of water in per hour then but everyone will be different here some people won't need that much some people will need more females will need less males will need more. Females will sweat less, males will sweat more. You see where we're going here. So there's no one size fits all. It is really about trying these things, as you'll see from the videos we've put up recently. Trying these things in your training is gonna allow for a much more successful implementation on race day. Hope that answered your question, Paul.